So alleged performance numbers and details of AMD's next generation cDNA GPU based on the Radeon Instinct MI100 accelerator have leaked out by Adore TV. In an exclusive post, Adore TV covers performance benchmarks of the upcoming HPC GPU against NVIDIA's Volta and Ampere GPUs. Now, Adore TV claims that the slides they have received are the, from the official AMD Radeon Instinct MI100 presentation, and the slides posted on the source seem to be modified versions of the original ones, but the details are kept intact. Now, we've previously confirmed that AMD Radeon Instinct MI100 GPU was on its way to the market in the second half of 2020. The slides from Adore TV shed more light on that launch plans and server configurations that we can expect from AMD and its partners in 2020 and beyond. First up, AMD is planning to unveil an HPC-specific server which would feature a 2P design with dual AMD EPIC CPUs that could either be based on ROM or Milan generation of EPIC processors. Now, each EPIC CPU will be connected to two Radeon Instinct MI100 accelerators through the second generation Infinity Fabric interconnect. The four GPUs will be able to deliver a sustained 136 teraflops of FP32 output, which points to around 34 teraflops of FP32 compute per GPU. Each Radeon Instinct MI100 GPU will have a TDP of 300 watts. Additionally, these specifications include a total GPU PCIe bandwidth of 256 gigabytes per second, which is made possible on the Gen 4 protocol. The combined memory bandwidth of the four GPUs is at 4.9 terabytes per second, which means that AMD is using HBM 2E DRAM dies. Each GPU pumps out 1.225 terabytes per second of bandwidth. Now the combined memory pool is 128 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes per GPU. This suggests that AMD is still using the four HBM2 DRAM stack technology and each stack housing eight high DRAM dies. It looks like XGMI won't be offered on standard configurations and will be kept limited to specialized 1U racks. As far as availability is concerned, the 1U server with AMD Epic, Roam, or Milan HPC CPUs is set to launch by December of 2020, while an Intel Xeon variant is also expected to launch in February of 2021. The second 3U server is expected to launch in March of 2021 and will offer even beefier specifications such as 8 Radeon Instinct MI100 GPUs connected to the two EPIC CPUs. Each configuration of 4 Instinct MI100s will be connected together through an XGMI 100 gigabytes per second bidirectional connection and a quad bandwidth of 1.2 terabytes per second. The four Instinct accelerators would equal a total of 272 teflops of FP32 compute, 512 gigabytes per second of PCIe bandwidth, and 9.8 terabytes per second of HBM2 bandwidth, and 256 gigabytes of memory DRAM capacity. The rack will have a rated power draw of 3 kilowatts. Now, in terms of performance, the AMD Radeon Instinct MI100 was compared to NVIDIA's Volta V100 and NVIDIA's Ampere A100 GPU accelerators. Interestingly, the slide mentions a 300 watt Ampere A100 accelerator, although no such configuration exists, which means that these slides are based on a hypothesized A100 configuration rather than an actual variant which comes in two flavors, the 400 watt config in the SXM form factor and the 250 watt configuration which comes in the PCIe form factor. As per the benchmarks, the Radeon Instinct MI100 delivers around 13% better FP32 performance versus the Ampere A100 and over 2x performance increase versus the Volta V100 GPUs. Now the performance to value ratio is also compared to the MI100 offering around 2.4x better value compared to the V100S and about 50% better value than the Ampere A100. It's also shown that the performance scaling is near linear even with up to 32 GPU configurations in ResNet, which is quite impressive. With that said, the slides also mention that AMD will offer better performance and value in three specific segments, which include oil and gas, academia, and HPC, and machine learning. In the rest of the HPC workloads, such as FP64 compute, AI, data analytics, such, NVIDIA will offer much superior in performance with its A100 accelerator. Now, NVIDIA holds the benefit of multi-instance GPU architecture over AMD, and the performance metrics show 2.5 times better FP64 performance and 2x FP16 performance, and twice the Tensor performance thanks to the latest gen Tensor cores on the Ampere A100 GPU. One thing that needs to be highlighted is that AMD hasn't mentioned NVIDIA's sparsity numbers 
anywhere in its benchmarks. With sparsity, NVIDIA's Ampere A100 boasts up to 156 teflops of horsepower, though it seems like AMD just wanted to do a specific benchmark comparison versus the Ampere A100. From the looks of it, the Radeon Instinct MI100 does seem to be a decent HPC offering if the performance and value numbers hold up at launch. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.